Hi, I'm Kimiko Ching. I am part of the Love Stories cast and I am set designing for the production. I originally came into the set designing position at the beginning of the process when Christian came to me with an idea and I was deciding between going on with Love Stories and doing this project or set designing in another way and I decided that I wanted to be part of the project as well as helping set design for it. So then when it came around to kind of rehearsing it, I was brought in as set designer. Um, I came up with the design uh, as the cast brought in photos of what love stories looked like to them, what love stories tasted like, sounded like, all of that, every sense they could possibly come up with. And I took all of their photos and I put them all together and what we had was really just this collage of blues and pinks and yellows and it just kind of looked like a galaxy. And at the same time it was very broken up but still fluid together. So that's how I came up with the design for the floor. My name is Anthony Sampson and I am part of the cast of Love Stories and I am also sound designing for the play as well. So I became sound designer through a very um, interesting process. Uh, during uh, our devising process uh, for the class that we took um, in the winter, um, the devised theater class, we had um, this idea that we would have a live band on stage. Um, and so we had um, sub rehearsals um, <clears throat> throughout that quarter uh, working on certain songs that we were thinking that could work in the second act of the play. Um, when we still had a second act, so a lot of things have changed since then. Um, and then when we came into the rehearsal process, we realized that the band didn't really fit um, with the show. It would be a lot of logistics that we didn't really have the um, time or um, narrative arc to work out. And so we decided to go in a different direction, um, and I was offered the role of sound designer to replace my role as kind of band captain, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Um, and so. Uh, throughout the sound process, what we've been doing is I've been working with Mauricio, um, our director, and David Sword, um, who works with the department as well, um, to design the sound and to pick out songs that match with certain parts of um, the play. At first it started out as just transition music, but then kind of morphed into um, this kind of soundtrack to the entire thing as well. Um, it came, a lot of it came from this playlist that we created all together. It was collaborative on Spotify. It's about 10 hours of stuff. It's so much music and ridiculous. So obviously we don't have all of that in there because the play is about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but we pulled a lot from there. Um, we kind of got somewhat of a disco vibe going in some ways. Um, and I've had a lot of fun. It's my first time sound designing and I want to do more. My name is Ryan Murray. I am the assistant lighting designer and one of the carpenters for uh, Love Stories SCU. Uh, I got on the project as the assistant lighting designer because I had never done a lighting design uh, before and I thought that starting with the student device piece would be a really cool place to start, especially because it was theater in the round and we don't do a lot of theater in the round. The floor is broken into specific parts, so in the same way we broke the uh, we broke it into specific lighting positions and then we also just used the color of the floor to um, add uh, color to the lights where most of them are actually just clear lights instead of colored ones. Uh, there are uh, gobos which are uh, patterns that the lights shoot down at the floor that are angular like the floor itself. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm a co-costume designer for Love Stories. I'm also in the cast. I'm costume designing with Sachi. Um, and for this process, we kind of decided that it would be best to have someone within the cast um, and people who had been involved in the process uh, costume designing because of the ever-changing script. Um, so it didn't really make sense for an outside designer to come in and, and tell us what we were going to be wearing because uh, sometimes scenes get cut or moved or we have a new need for this person to be in a hat or uh, because of some blocking reasons. So it was really helpful to be in rehearsals and then able to communicate with Sachi about what was going on and um, what we needed to pull for everyone's costumes. So luckily we just wanted everyone to pretty much look like college students so we pulled a lot from people's own wardrobe. Um, though we do have a couple fun extra costumes for um, some of the more uh, exciting elements of the show. Um, if you've ever been in or outside of Swig, you'll understand what I mean, that there are some crazy things that get worn there. So we tried to represent that as best we could um, within the show itself. Uh, we also were working with backpacks, so we had to work with props and costumes that could fit inside 
uh, of those backpacks and be pulled out to be put on bodies. Um, so it's been it's been really wonderful so far and pretty pretty simple. Uh, just trying to capture as best we can an authentic Santa Clara University look.